for brain tree. It's a two-day national level CV program for both graduates. First of all, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our teacher, Mr. Rajesh Lakhani, Chairman, Commander of the Board for Foundation and Academic Organization and the India. Welcome, sir. We would like to welcome our director of Agarwal Nai Council, Dr. Akhya Agarwal, who is always very supportive of whatever initiative we take. We welcome you, ma'am. We would like to extend a warm welcome to all the faculty who are the top ophthalmologists in India. We have Dr. Santosh Avar here, who has been part of our Kalpa for more than a decade. We welcome you, sir. We welcome Dr. Usha Kim. Thank you, ma'am. And, uh, we welcome all the delegates, close to 50 delegates have traveled from all parts of India to be a part of this program. Without you, this program is not successful. We welcome you all. We welcome the press who has been always so supportive of us. We welcome you all. It gives me great pleasure to welcome the chief guest of this uh, afternoon, Mr. Rajesh Lakhani, IAS, Chairman, Tamil Nadu Electricity Board under the most prestigious government, the LK government. Sir was delayed a bit because I was told that we had a, a meeting, a urgent meeting by the district collector. So uh, as, uh, as long as he's here, I think we are very happy to My first thing I want to tell you all, especially to the press here, Kalpa Bhaviksha is a very known word which means a wishful Tree, which is mentioned a lot in the Hindu scriptures, in the religions of Buddhism, Judaism, and also Hinduism. So, what does it mean? It means the wish fulfilling divine tree. It is said that whoever sits under this tree and wishes for something, the wish will manifest. The other connection with Kalpa Pariksha is. It's the other name for a fruit we use every day called coconut. This is also mentioned. This is also mentioned that coconut is a very, very useful Hindu ritual. And they say that offering a, a coconut to the uh, to the Hindu god is practiced in all the religions. So this is not also the connection with the and it is called Kalpa Riksha, not Kalpa Variksha. Kalpa Variksha means a wishful, wish fulfilling tree. So with this connection, also nowadays, there is also a lot of Kalpa Variksha trees which are available everywhere for health, wealth, prosperity and good luck. And I also read from where that in the Yamuna River, one uh, Kalpa Variksha tree was found recently. With this, I will come to the actual Kalpa Variksha which is nothing but the 17th CME program which started in the year 2007 and it is being continuously conducted by us for the last 17 years and it is a national CME program which is going to be conducted for two days. The main thing for this program is this time we, are, we, all, we have a wet lab which people, uh, which the students are now enjoying it in which a lot of new techniques are being taught to them and uh, tomorrow there will be uh, also a quiz program and also there will be a case presentation for the first time and the winner is going to get a prestigious Dr. Tahira Agarwal award. So these two days we have a lot of experts from various parts of the country like one of them is right, sitting with me right here, Mr. Santosh Hanova, which has been with us for the last I think 10 years I've been seeing him and he comes and spends two days with us to teach you all and like I said a wish, uh, wish fulfilling tree sit under here for two days and learn whatever you want from your experts and tomorrow all the best for the case presentation I want someone to win the um, Mrs. Uh, T. Agarwal award this program is being conducted by you and you have all traveled 35 from 35 different cities students have come this year when it started in 2007, I remember there were hardly about 50 students. Now this year we have more than uh, 250 students which are going to be here for two days with us and make use of it and benefit from it because you are exam going students and you can benefit a lot from this. Thank you very much for your patience here. Well, congratulate the Institute for 
organizing Kalpavriksha year and year again since 2007. That was the first uh, Kalpavriksha I was part of. Of course, there were fewer numbers, but now it's really grown so big that we have 250 eager postgraduate students uh, coming here for two days, and that took from 35 different cities. That, that's very good to know. So, Kalpavriksha has really spread its deep uh, roots deep and wide. I think it's a real pleasure for all of you to be here because these two days will encompass uh, more, most of the important lectures that pertain to ophthalmology, especially from the point of view of examination and inclusion of wet lab and case presentation, etc., will further add to the merit of the production. Congratulations to everyone and thank you all, all for being here. Thank you so much. Professor Dyer, good morning, Dr. 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 I don't know what is, uh, how come for a CME of uh, postgraduate student I am invited, of course, after that postgraduation is something else, uh, after the electricity, and I have the electricity board. And perhaps, I think the connection is that both of us look after life. You look after the rights of the human, and I, after, I look after the rights of the citizen, and the state. Maybe that is the connection. All the other connection is that I am a patient of Dr. Agarwal, I have to for 40 years, or maybe 25 years. That may be another connection. Or maybe the third connection is that I have a physical, uh, 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 in my running third or fourth generation in my family, that all the male folks are engineers and all the female folks are doctors. I don't know. But whatever way it is, I uh, am really privileged to come because I have a hospital, I have been visiting year on year for my annual diabetic checkup and uh, I used to get a hearing classes for all uh, 40 years. But CME somehow I don't like because uh, I love PG, CME and all. I joke uh, with uh, my wife and daughter the CME is uh, confusing, missing enjoyment, not confusing. <laughs> because uh, you really work very hard and all the lessons and all lessons I don't understand, you may understand better. But uh, I just like to say because most of them uh, here I see now women here and I think hospital must be any hospital you go I think uh, maybe doctors are too many. Maybe you have chosen the work like balance early in the career that perhaps uh, that is the reason. Uh, but I think whatever you do I think uh, uh, for me if I switch off, uh, I mean if uh, there is a call, I say I am slightly careless, only the light of the city will go. But if you are slightly careless, I want to talk what will happen. So, uh, so I request you. I just want to talk about because I don't want to talk about all of you who are the experts in doctor. I don't want to talk about the doctor now today. But I think uh, uh, what is important in any profession when you are doing this critical problem is your concentration and uh, concern. I am not talking about the knowledge. Knowledge anyway, you are often you are doing PG, so you have been the design of multiple leads. And uh, obviously you are best among and you have chosen that uh, facility. But what, how do you keep a uh, mind tension free and stress free? Not because when you are looking at patients and you are thinking of what is happening at your house, I think uh, things go away. So I request you, I think you should try out PDF systems of meditation and other things, especially it's very important for anyone who is very stressful and consciously working. Because I think patients know that everyone may have to be ideally appreciate the doctor from morning to night continuously flow patients with that. How do you manage so many patients? One doctor is really surprising, but it's really. Uh, huh? <laughs> No, no, but I'm saying that uh, good patients in the hospitals are always welcome. But the doctor seeing continuously patients to be keeping concentration and they're looking at different problems is always tough. So I request you all of this. I don't want to take too much of time. I thought the late because uh, they're meeting a senior secretary on the doctor. I hope I don't keep you and so that you are not uh, away from the, the disease balance which may cause disaster later. But I request you one uh, uh, thing uh, which is very important to the electricity board. And all of you must be using electricity at home, there is no design in the fact. So if you have any problem in your clinic, in any future, you know who to contact, you can contact me. But one of my requests is that I think uh, if you are worried about the electricity bill, please put a solar on your rooftop because that will bring the bills uh, down. Please say two things. I will uh, wish you all the best. And uh, I still. I will say that I think, uh, of course, learning and other things is uh, fine, but partly, family also is very important. 
So I think when you are touching and actually we totally concentrate on that. Ask the best about it because uh, it's not only patient and the technical knowledge when you do a job, you just when you study all that matter. But then when you join the hospital in the first place, the politics matters. It may be between doctors and between your subordinates and other things. And that is also much more stress than actually seeing the patient and patient problem. So take care of that. Thank you. I'm happy to oblige this every time I call her to be the MC for the program. Thank you so much. And uh, I really did like the analogy of uh, you, the light between uh, both of us. <laughs> you said you didn't know much about Oscar, but I think that was a very uh, humorous and very entertaining uh, chief guest speech. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Professor Amara Rima and uh, Professor Atiya Ma'am for this uh, great initiative and brainchild of Kalpa Viksha, which has been going on, and this is the 17th year we are doing it. And uh, the star of today's event, the students who come from different states uh, for the today's CME program. And I hope you are having fun and enjoying yourself and at the same time learning what she has to offer. And uh, special thanks to uh, Dr. Kantor Panavar who has always been by our side from the inception of Kalpa. And thanks for taking out your time, sir. And uh, thanks to um, Dr. Sandri Ma'am, uh, Dr. Divya Ma'am. And uh, we have a wet lab set up, which is the first time we are doing it this year. And I'd like to thank Dr. Sumati and her wet lab team for the help. And uh, I would also like to thank the uh, AV team, the IT team, the press for always supporting us in all our uh, endeavors. And uh, also my, um, uh, and for every event, I think there is a lot going in the background, which is dealt with by the admin team. I'd like to uh, specially thank Mrs. Kujata, who is my ALA coordinator and the backbone of everything here, and Mr. Kumar Guru, Mr. Uh, uh, Yuvendra, Mr. Harish, Sudha Madan, and uh, Mr. Um, okay, and uh, I'd like to also uh, extend uh, thanks to Mr. Sunan Raj and also our admin uh, uh, team. I think I'll cover everybody, Mr. Prasanna and the marketing team who is always been by our side. Thank you so much. Uh, please enjoy the rest of the program for the students and uh, the press. Thanks for being here. 17th Kalpa Variksha program conducted by Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital and Eye Research Center, which is actually a research wing of uh, and part of Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital. 17th, we started in 2007. Kalpa Variksha, Hindu, Hindu uh, scriptures, a tree. This is called the Divine Wish Fulfilling Tree, Divine Tree in Solvanga, which is mentioned in the not only in the Hindu scriptures. In the Buddhism and also in Jainism scriptures. In the end of the in the tree, ke, uh, ke in the tree, in wish fund ring lo, and the wish fund will be definitely fulfilled. That is why it is called the wish fulfilling tree. So, uh, what do we do here? We have 35 cities, we gather the students for the CME, national CME program. This is maybe the biggest national CME program conducted in India which is going on for the last 17 years. So I have experts like Santosh Hanover and the other people who are helping me, Dr. Soundri, Dr. Preeti, Dr. Ramya, Dr. Divya Ashok. And I had a lot of speakers uh, all over for morning who are going to give two days of their time to this CME program. In the two days, experts when the lectures. So all the students who are wishing to uh, be experts in ophthalmology, they have to be here for two days and to learn. So, Nariya Vande, Ongloka experts Vande Nariya Soli Kudupanga, Pudusa in the Vati in the Panirko, or a wet lab number organized Panirko. Wet lab in the animal eyes Kudite, Adela Ongloka practice Pana Vipanga. Dr. Sumati from Porur is in charge here. In the Levande cataract operation, a pretty Panuno, SACS Vande, SACS the cataract operation in a, the Lepri cut Panite cataract Eduklaman, other Soli Kudranga, the wet lab lay. From a fake emulsification, very cut for a cut two point eight millimeter foot, every panwanga and solicurpanga. Lectures Levante, we have expert lectures like glued eye will, uh, pre decimates endothelial keratoplasty, oculoplasty, uh, we have oncology, we have uh, so many other things. Retina, we have Dr. Manoj Katri from our hospital who is going to give us a lectures on retina. So everything will be covered in these two days. So when the students when they, before they go back, because they are all exam going students, before they go back, when they, when they, in the 
கத்துட்டு போய் அவங்க ரெடியா இருப்பாங்க லெக்சர்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் எழுதுறதுக்கு தட் இஸ் த ஐடியா ஆஃப் சிஎம்இ ப்ரோக்ராம் விச் இஸ் கால் கல்பரிக்ஷா